He's the one who forced through the plan to standardise the Euro sausage. Euro sausage? <laughs> By the end of next year, we shall be waving goodbye to the good old British sausage and we'll be forced to accept some foreign muck like salami or bratwurst or something in its place. But they can't stop us eating the British sausage, mm. can they? They can stop us calling it the sausage, though. Apparently, it's got to be called the emulsified high-fat offal tube. <laughs> <laughs> and you swallowed it? It's my job to implement EEC regulations. Could finish my career. But what have they got against our sausage? Oh dear. Don't you ever read the papers you give me? Well, yes, I glance at it, Minister, but it rather put me off. Apparently, there's not enough meat in it. The average British sausage consists of 32.5% fat, 6.5% rind, 20% water, 10% rusk, 5% seasoning, preservative and colouring, and only 26% meat which is mostly gristle, head meat, other offcuts, and mechanically recovered meat steamed off the carcass. <laughs> I don't feel I had one. I had one for breakfast. Perhaps the EEC commissioner is right. He may be right, but be extremely unpopular with the voters. Oh, well, she'll just have to grit our teeth and... Bite on the bullet? Uh, you can't bite a bullet if you're gritting your teeth, Minister. You see, if you do that, you can't get the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 